Hi folks, uh, this is Mr. Jacobs here, and this is graphing y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. This one is just as easy as the last one. Okay, so on this, the axis of symmetry is always opposite this number over twice this number right here. The axis of symmetry is where your parabola folds in half. Then you plug whatever that x value is, because it's x equals opposite b over 2a. You plug this x value into this equation right here to get your y coordinate, and that's your vertex. All right? So consider the graph y equals negative 2x squared plus 12x minus 7. Let's find the axis of symmetry, okay? Up here, x equals opposite b, so it's going to be negative 12 over twice a, so over 2 times negative 2. So negative 12 over negative 4 gives me a positive 3. So the axis of symmetry is uh, x equals 3. Okay, to find the vertex, I'm going to plug in x equals 3 right here. 3 right there for the 3 squared, and then 3 right there next to the 12. Okay, so here we go. Um, I crank that out and I get 11, so the vertex is at uh, 3, 11. And I'm just saving time. You can pause it if you need to. Okay, let's graph this guy right here. Okay, first let's get the axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry is opposite negative 6, which is positive 6, over twice this number. So 6 over 6 equals 1. So here's the axis of symmetry right there, x equals 1. x equals 1 is a vertical line, so it's going to fold right on that line right there. That's your folding line going to plug in 1 into this equation right here. So I plugged in 1 right here and right here, and it gets me uh, negative 1. So my vertex is at 1, negative 1 right down there. Okay, now check this out, you guys. Here's the shortcut. This 3 is 3 times every time I go over. 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared. From here, from the vertex, I know it's going up because that's positive right there. Over 1, 1 squared is 1 but it's 3 times 1 so over 1 it goes up 3 on both sides over 1 up 3 okay watch when I go over 2 2 squared is 4 but I always gotta multiply it by 3 so 3 times 4 is 12 so I'm gonna go over 1 over 2 sorry and up 12 that's gonna take me right up to there right there okay so over 1 up 12 on both sides connect them up and there it is right there alright let's try another one of these okay uh, this one's going down because it's negative, negative one-half x squared plus 2x uh, plus 3, so let's get the x. x equals the axis of symmetry. Opposite 2 over 2 times negative one-half. Okay, 2 times negative one-half is negative 1, so negative 2 over negative 1 is positive 2. Now I'm going to plug in 2 right there and right there to get my y-coordinate for my vertex. Okay, oops, there's my axis of symmetry, x equals 2. Okay, plug it in right there for y. Okay, so I get uh, it equals 5, so my vertex is at 2 comma 5. There it is right there. Okay, and this guy is going down because it's negative. This 1 half is 1 half of 1 squared, 1 half of 2 squared. Check it out. Over 1, 1 squared is 1, but a half is only a half down. Over 1, down a half. Over 2, 2 squared is 4, but i got to take a half of it. That's how much I go down. I go down 2 on both sides. Over 3, 3 squared is 9, down 4 and a half. Okay, so when I go over 3, uh, it's up there at 5, it goes down 4 and a half, so it's down to a half on both sides. Okay, connect them up, and there you go. All right, and then finally, uh, when you have y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, if a is a positive number, then the graph opens up, and we had that on there, and it has a minimum value. And the minimum value is always your y coordinate of the vertex. If a is negative, then it's the graph is going to open down when it's negative. And how I think of it, you guys, is when it opens down, it looks unhappy, an unsmiley face. That's why it's negative. When it opens up, when it's positive, your parabola opens up and it's a smiley face, so it's happy. So it's positive, okay? But when it's opening down, when it opens down, then it has a maximum up there at the vertex up there, and your maximum is your y-coordinate. So we graph this guy right here. This guy opened up, so it has a minimum. The minimum is my y-coordinate, negative 1. It's how far it went down. The other graph gave me a maximum, and the maximum was my still my y-coordinate, but it was at there at 5. Okay, nice work, you guys.